Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for January 12, 2020. And if you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and so also our online trades. The link is down below. So, yes, a lot happened today, especially in the foreign exchange market and also in the cryptocurrency market. Um, well, crypto basically fell off a cliff today, which has been expected for basically several weeks because it has been very overextended. But also here, due to the fact that the US dollar has uh, been appreciating the last two trading days, uh, this market basically also, um, well, had a lot of movement. So we can see, for example, the Great British Pound US dollar, we have fallen from the very high here of 1370 all the way down to where we're trading at the current stage at 1349. So the roughly a drop of 1.5% in the last uh, last two weeks. So at this point, I think we are we have basically hit uh, support here. Whether or not we go further, that is to be seen. If the US dollar starts uh, continues to appreciate, then this will most likely continue. Uh, going a little bit lower but i think that the 50 moving average has will give a lot of support that's roughly at 13 34 40 um, 43 and after that we will continue the rally to the upside we're in an uptrend and uh, we have seen some of these pullbacks uh, in the past especially in this period when we had the brooks and negotiations and so on and um yes it does happen but the 50 has been significant support uh, in the past. If you look at technical indicators, uh, they are basically all over the place. MACD is bearish, the RSI is flat, the CCI is bearish, the stochastic is bullish. Uh, well, if you have the daily chart here, it's bearish, sorry. And we can see here in the bullish drive, we have broken the middle, uh, the 20 moving average, and are heading towards the bottom of the bullish band. If that were the case, that, that means that we'll go a little bit lower than the 50 moving average, something similar to these two candlesticks here, and then continue with the rally. So you can see when we basically pierce the bottom of the bullish band, this should turn around quite aggressively like we did here and here. So let's look at the US dollar again. We have reached basically the top of this range, and this is basically a massive selling opportunity. We have pulled back quite significantly, and at this point, we are. it is very likely that this market will turn around and head to the downside. So, first of all, this will be the target. This is 102.674. Um, after that, we'll basically see whether or not there's enough room to downside. We are at 58 at this current stage. Technical indicators have not turned completely around yet, uh, but it is very likely that we'll see something similar to this. We have been doing this all since uh, March, March last year. We have been trading in with, between this channel, and every time we get to the top, it is basically a selling opportunity. Every time we get to the bottom, that is basically a buying opportunity. So at the moment, I am. This is currently a sell with a stop loss right above above this. So let's look at the euro, US dollar. We eventually fell in the in the trading session even further. Um, get rid of this. So we have the high zero 1234, and the, the 50 moving average will most likely be the bottom of this market. We are already running into quite a lot of support here at the 40 moving average. However, technical indicators are still fairly bearish for this currency pair. But the lower this basically gets, the, the better, basically the the cheaper it gets, basically the better the buy-in. Um, I would be surprised if it breaks the 50 moving average, but if it does, it will basically go all the way down to the 100 moving average. So the 50, a turnaround here, is basically the entry point, and the target is basically these very highs. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. We have most likely hit major support here at the 20 exponential moving average, if the 20 breaks, then we head to the 40, and then we also have the 50 underneath. So there's plenty of um, there's plenty of um, support underneath. However, a turnaround here will open the door to a target of roughly these previous highs here. 
So targeted roughly a 1.6% increase. So yes, that is basically the target if we turn it around here and don't continue further down. So there is a chance that we basically break the 20 exponential moving average. We are testing it now, testing it now uh, but the technical indicators are looking very dire for this currency pair. So it may well be that we go further down. So we'll see basically tomorrow. At this point, you basically have to wait until this turns around in order to enter this market. So US dollar can't, we have rallied all the way up towards the, uh, the, um, the 40 exponential moving average. And then we have pulled back quite significantly. Um, at this point, these previous lows here are most likely going to be the target. The 50 and the 40 have been significant resistant in the past. And at this point, uh, we most likely will fall back towards the 12.63. No interest basically should have buying this. Every single time this rallies up towards the 40 or 50, uh, it tends to break down, like similar to what we have seen here late in the session. So, but if you look at technical indicators, they still haven't turned around. So it may well be that we'll see something similar to this, where we have a pullback, rally, pullback, and then in the end, we'll basically fall even further. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.